welcome and welcome back to my channel so in my last video um, I did I did a reaction to craziest celebrities look alike so in one of the um, in um, in a video there was a client that I find his behavior a little bit unusual so I went digging because I wanted to see I really wanted to see more so I found a video called um, he identified as a Korean so I am gonna react to that video and I am scared to click um, play on this video because I don't know this man is very unusual and um, so yeah so that's what today's gonna um, that's what today's video is gonna be about <music> reacting to this fella over here identified as a Korean so he's getting his six nose job to look like a Korean <sighs> how can you identify as another it's not real yes it is yeah but look it is scientifically impossible <laughs> Even you, with your stocky build and lumberjack shoulders, you couldn't do it. Uh, I'm, it's scary. So without further ado, let's see what we have over here with this guy who identify, he identify as a Korean. Boy. You need to accept the fact I do look like Jimin. I'm pretty much identical to Jimin. I even... Here we go. Here we go again. Here we go. Six seconds into the video, and he he back with his obsession with this guy. Like it's scary at this point. Like six seconds into the video, and this man is already on some BS. Like, are you in love with this man, or are you trying to beat this man? Pick a side. Pick something and stick to it. Cause like trying to being in love with somebody, or uh, uh, obsessing over a person and trying to identify. With them, as far as going, uh, 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 um, doing plastic surgery, it's very scary to me because I have had. It's, I would do a story time when I was stalked, so I know what it's like to be to be stalked, you know. And it's it's crazy. It's it's really it's something I don't take lightly. So that's what I think this is bothering me a little bit more than usual. Coin the term transracial. I've had a lot of backlash for identifying as Korean, but I'm just living my truth. They're saying that I, guess. I don't look like Jimin, which is probably the most offensive thing anyone could say. I then then replay back then. Gosh, that somebody telling you, you don't look like him. That's the most offensive thing somebody could say to you. Really, seriously, really, really. People gotta do better these days. You, you over here trying to identify as a whole Korean, but people shouldn't get mad at that. But you're taking offensive because they say, and he do. I'm sorry, he do not look anything like that boy. He don't. He don't. He just don't. The more he do plastic surgery, the farther away he strayed from looking like him. He never looked at him in the first place. This man is a British man. I've had five nose jobs to look Korean. I'm currently in Texas to get another surgery on my nose. Previous doctors have warned me if I have one more nose surgery, my nose will fall off. But I trust Dr. Aguyo and I know he's going to be able to fix this. Finally, I'm going to achieve that Korean K-pop look that I've always wanted. Guys, this is it. I've got my new nose and oh my god, it's so, so beautiful. London. I'm originally from the UK, but I actually identify as Korean. A little bit of an obsession with a man named Jimin. Little, a little bit, a little bit. That's an honest statement. 
because his obsession is nothing little about that obsession. It's scary. He needs a restraining order against him. Something, some type of form of protection. Because we seen where people are obsessed with celebrities. We seen it how it turned out danger. It turns out really bad. It turns out really, really bad. I don't know if anybody remember. It was this girl. I don't want to. Um, her name was. I think her name was Christina, and she was from New Jersey, if I'm not mistaken. And she was on The Voice. Um, I think it was. I don't know what year particularly she was on The Voice, but she had. Um, she had a stalker. And unfortunately, she is not here with us today. So when people behaving like that, like this, it's a little bit weird to me because we have read and seen cases where from people when somebody is, is obsessed with um a person, it it gets it gets strange. And this right here is extremely strange because this man is in love with this man, and now he's trying to look like him, spending money. To look exactly like him. And trying to talk like them. It's crazy. I don't care what anybody going to say. Oh, No. It's weird and we're going to call it out. Period. Y'all do better out here. Y'all need to do better. Guys, I'm just with Jimmy. I'm touching Jimmy's hand. <laughs> Sir, Ollie, get a life. He needs to get a freaking life. Because this is it's not it. It's not. Oh, I look cute. <laughs> this is actually Jimin's handprint. It happens to be in the best cable fan in the world, BTS. Jimin, I love you. I love you. I am a TikTok star and also a YouTuber and a musician. I produce and make K pop music, so I feel very blessed. Yeah, beautiful. So, right now I'm in El Paso, Texas because I will be undergoing my next and final procedures, and I'm so, so excited. Back in 2013, I first moved. What is wrong with what he looked like before? Nothing. Right. Back into what is wrong with looking like this? He looked like a British guy over here. Now he just looked like something somebody created in a lab and They don't want no more. It's harsh, but it's the truth. Because he looks, he looks fine over here. There was nothing was wrong with him. Now he's just. People need extensive therapy. Uh, uh, evaluation of something. I don't know. 2013, I first moved to Korea. Oh, he been on this since eight years ago. Then, and then over the last few years, I've really increased my procedure. Oh my god. This is scary. I can't believe what I'm looking at. <laughs> I don't know. I was lost for words. And that's coming from somebody that talks a lot. This is strange. Imagine putting your body through this much pain to achieve what exactly? Because this man don't know, this person he's obsessed with, he doesn't even know he exists. And he going through all this hard work and body modification to look like this man and if if nobody find that strange then you're part of the problem as well it's very strange this man altered his whole look he went from looking 
like a regular British guy. You would be walking down the street if you go to the UK. So looking like a felt uh, um, science experiment. I don't care. I said it there. Boom. Whatever. Because sometimes people need to hear the truth. Like, people sugarcoat too much these days. And... Alright, let's just play this video. I always go to the doctor and say, okay, please make me look Korean. Please make me look like Jimin. It's really difficult to count. You cannot, and I can't stress this enough, you cannot identify as another race. We, I, this, is the, this is the third person I've seen trying to identify as a, another race. Anybody remember Rachel that was in the U, um, over here in the U.S. when she tried to identify as an African American, and then we had another another lady a couple of years ago. I think she was from somewhere. She was from Europe also, and she went. She injected. She went and got a a procedure where they injected melanin into her skin for her to look have darker skin tone, and she looked like a whole freaking mess. And she had box spray. This this is not normal. You cannot identify as another race. You can learn and respect other people, but as far as um, trying to change your race to be another um, race, it's just not possible. It's just not. I've done so many, but I would say probably like 18 procedures. Probably spent now. 18 procedures. 18. 18 freaking procedure. Oh, wow. To identify as a Korean or to get Jamin's attention. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. Now, it's probably over $200,000. Over like a seven year period. So I've had uh, so many nose jobs. I've had my jaw done, my cheeks, chin, eyes, brow lift, chest, nipples, like so many things. I would call myself transracial because that's one way of best describing how I feel. So obviously I identify as Korean, but people don't seem to get that. Because you are not. I can't stress this enough. You are not a Korean. <laughs> you can get hundreds of millions of procedures to look or identify as dumb. So many death threats, it's been really horrendous. I've had murder threats, people saying that they're no Yeah, way. I won't go as far as uh, um, threatening somebody with, with death threats. That's a, that's a little extreme, to be honest. That's a little extreme. But everybody got to make better decisions these days. Don't send somebody death threat just because. Talk to them, etiquette them. Sending death threat not going to solve anything, truthfully speaking. Gosh. We as uh, human beings, as a society, we have to do better. <laughs> we need to educate each other. Each other. What did I say? Each other. Ill. Where I live, what hotel I'm staying at, they come to come and kill me. People have made petitions yeah. online with thousands of signatures saying that I should be sent in a rocket to space on the planet Earth. <laughs> That's mean. I didn't mean to laugh. That's mean. There really are a petition online. People signing in? <laughs> That's mean. Nobody deserves hate. We could talk to them and we can educate them, but as far as going out sending hate to them, nobody deserves to get hate. So let's do better, people. He's dead. He's dead. He, I'm not going to consider him Korean, though, but he doesn't deserve hate and death threats. Earth, and they compare me to Michael Jackson, so they always call me, you know, cruel names. They compare me to all sorts of celebrities, say that I look like Ellen DeGeneres instead of Jamim. Oh, Jamim. His name is Jamim. Okay. I was finding Jamim. People that call me racist, it's like, you know, actually get to know me. It's easy to say that word. It's easy to say that person because, you know, whatever reason. But uh, uh, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm all about um, inclusivity. You know, they're saying that... Uh, I don't look like Jimin, which is probably the most offensive thing anyone could say. Because, because he don't. He do not look like him. And if he had better friends around him and strong support system, maybe he wouldn't have been in the church hole he is now. Because people need to start telling people the truth. He does not look anything like him. At all. 
identical to me. I came to realize it's like, no, sweetie, you are not identical to that man in any shape, form, or whatsoever. You are not. Look, these people are like keyboard warriors. You know, when I when I'm walking around wherever I am, I get so many people coming up to me, and it's always a positive response. Ninety nine percent of the time, they're like, oh my god, I love you. I love what you do. Well, at least some people giving, showing him love and, you know, because we all need love in this world. But it said, love make the words go round. <laughs> I think I like my hair better this way. I think so. What do you think? I don't know. I'm going to leave you guys, just so you know. So I just stopped to admire myself once in a while. But back to the video keep on being you. I'm so excited to say I'm going to be meeting Bibiana and some of my amazing friends Pam and Caleb as well. We're going to maybe go for a drink and I'm going to tell them what I'm here for, see how they react and uh, see what their advice is as well. I'm as, I am eager to see what his friends, what type of people they are and let's see if they are true friends or they are fake friends. That was so cringe. <laughs> so good. Nice to see you. Hey, Pat, Hi. Hi. How are you? Hey, hey, how are you? Good. I'm so excited that you're here. I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm in Texas. What's new? Talk to us. You know who he looks like? Jones Raver. That's who he looks like. Alright, I pizza Jones Raver, though. What's going on? Wow, I mean, I've had such a crazy few months. You know, I shared with the world that I identify as Korean and that got a little bit crazy, yeah, as you yeah, know. Yeah. I'm kind of here to do something else. Well, yeah, kind of knows. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so as you guys, she hasn't told us anything. Well, well, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a very good yeah. secret keeper. Okay. Viviana, can you take this? So, I think I can. I mean, you know what I'm like, right? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so, do you want to yeah. yeah. yes. give me a what? face? A surprise? Oh, Is it Jimin? Did you bring me Jimin? Jimin in the box. Is it? Wow. So I don't like this? his obsession with that boy. So the surprise is I am going to have a revision rhinoplasty. So I'm having my nose done again to get the Korean nose. And then the nipples and voila, I'll be 100% Jimin. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 So how can you tweak your nipple and tweak your nose and voila? So can I tweak my nose and tweak my lady nipples and voila, I'm Michelle Obama or I'm Queen Elizabeth. So since we are identifying as people these days, I think I'm going to identify as Queen Elizabeth. What do you think? Hey, everybody's doing it, right? So I'm going to tweak my nose and I'm going to tweak my girty pointers and identify as Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> Yo, the weirdness, it just, it keeps getting weirder. I have scarring and stuff. Well, I'm going to make this day even more special. Oh my God. So um, I'm okay. going to go ahead okay. and open this box. Okay. So now his friends over here with the fuckery. <laughs> he needs he needs better friends. Cause you know sometimes people have friends, they're just there to be like let me tell you something, you you don't want a yes a yes friend. You want a friend that will tell you when you're wrong and when you're right and not afraid to put you in your place. Those are the people you need to surround yourself with. If you have friends, if you have friends in your life and all they just do is agree with you, and when you're wrong and just they go without checking you, you need to check yourself out of that friendship because they are helping you to destroy yourself. 
because you need it's it's called, you need balance. You need people to tell you yes. You need people to tell you no. You need people to tell you when you're wrong and to call you out. That's how we grow because we need to know what we are lacking, not just just in a a friendship and everything. It's yes, yeah. You need to no no. His friends are fake. Whatever he was going for, I'm, this is my first time seeing this boy, um, like up close. Um, I'm, cause I'm not too familiar with the BTS. Um, looking at him and looking at him on the other string, nothing, zero, el zippo, nada, nothing, zero percent, nothing again. Do not look alike. They ate his money for free. <laughs> for free <laughs> he was robbed for free <laughs> free money they ate his money for free bruh <laughs> I am in the wrong business I think I need to go be a plastic surgeon hell I can identify as a plastic surgeon <laughs> can I he said it's 2021 we can identify as, as who we want to right so I identify as plastic surgeon because clarity looking at the person who did his job, his work, it's not giving what he wanted. It's giving off brand vibes. That's what it's giving. <laughs> Go off though, Ollie. <laughs> Yo. He looks like a scarecrow. That's what he looks like. Looks like Jones Raver. I'm gonna have a Jones Raver picture and place it right up here. So that way I can see that's what he looks like. I'm gonna put this boy in the middle and Jones Raver over here. No, I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull Ollie in the middle. I'm gonna leave Jimin Jimin over here and I'm gonna pull John Raver so y'all can see because it's giving heavy Jones Raver vibe. But go after Ollie. Jimin, I'm pretty much identical to Jimin. No, you're not. So, that was it for this video. This is one of the videos I did I was heated. I'm not gonna lie. Because it's strange when people is that obsessed with you, they have to go to the extent to look and want to beat you. It's, it's very, very strange to me. But if you like this video, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section if you ever had a stalker or somebody obsessed with you to a certain level. Let me know how you handle that. So with that being said, thank you. Treat each other with kindness, love, and respect. Be safe out there. And be very, very careful of the decisions you're making. Because it's going to come back and bite you in the ass. Bye, guys.